friends welcome to my channel tutor today we are going to discuss about the third law of motion so the third law of motion says that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction now what does this means this means that for example if i am walking okay like i'm walking from head to head so my feet they are applying certain force on the ground right similarly so that would be the action that i do now when a person is walking this is my person i'm not so good at drawing now when this person is acting he is applying a force with his feet right you must have observed it now when the person he is applying this force so that is the action and when this ground it applies an equal and opposite force on this man that is my reaction simple for example if i say that i am pushing a ball so the ball will also push me with equal and opposite force so let's say that i apply a force of let's say 20 newton on a ball to move it so similarly 20 newton will also be exerted by the ball on my hand this is also applicable you must have seen that you know when a person he fires so as in why do we do this action this is because when you are firing the bullet it comes out there is a force with which the bullet moves out now for the force with which the bullet moves out is the force which this bullet will experience and there will be a jerk that is why it's like this the jerk that is felt on the shoulder so according to newton's third law to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction for example if in a question you are given let's say that there is a ball and 20 newton force is being applied on it then what is the force that is acting on the body so it will be minus 20 newton since it's equal and opposite opposite in the sign okay now there is one more statement that is said in this respect and that is that is the action and the reaction does it happen on the same object no like when you are walking you are doing the action through your feet and the reaction is getting you are getting from the ground so it always happens on different objects on different objects they interact and then you get an action and a reaction i hope this is clear to you if you have any doubt in this please do write in the comment section next we will be discussing about conservation of momentum I hope you are all safe and sound in your place. We have earlier done first law, second law, few numericals. We will be doing the conservation of momentum next and few questions related to it. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Bye.